A new campaign has been launched by gay rights group Kaleidoscope Trust calling for an end to laws that criminalise homosexuality. In 78 countries around the world, it's still illegal to be gay. And in five of those countries, the maximum penalty is death. The campaign is called What If It Were Illegal For You To Be You and is supported by TV star John Barrowman. In a second, I'll be talking to John, but first, here's a quick clip of the video. No, you can't. Not allowed. Blonde pig. Read the sign, yeah? Yeah, I've seen the sign. It's ridiculous. It's the police! John, welcome. Thanks very much for coming in. The, the, the message in that video is it's why should it be illegal for anyone to be themselves? Yes. Bald, over 40, Correct. gay. Correct. Why, so why is it important to you to be involved in this? Well, because I am a, an openly gay man and uh, I you know, always have been since the, I realized when I went through puberty. And that's the main point of this uh, video, to let people realize, to make them aware that it's not something that you just decided. It's something that you were born with as our blue eyes, as are the, is the color of your hair. And if, you know, it's something that, that we are making it relatable to people who are not gay. Because if it was illegal to be you because you had, uh, I, I'm looking at your eyes, like a grayish blue color, uh, and you were not allowed to walk down the street, or you were under threat if you were trying to hide those blue eyes, that you might be murdered, uh, hung, or stoned. This happens in some countries, but who is the video uh, for? Is it to alert us? to those countries where this is happening, or is it to make a change in those countries themselves? The video is to alert us for, uh, to uh, what is going on and also to alert people in other countries. It's also to get to move you towards uh, the Kaleidoscope Trust website, which is kaleidoscopetrust.com. And uh, you can become part of the campaign. You can jump on board and by watching the video, moving yourself to the website, you can be part of the change that we want to make throughout the world and get, give people basic equal human rights. Um, how successful do you think it'll be to make changes in countries where the cultures are completely different from what we know in our everyday lives here in the UK? Well, as we've seen from things like the Arab Spring, if you start with the people, then you start in the right place. And that's what we're doing with this video. We're starting with the people. We hope that they uh, get behind it. And also for activists and uh, people who live in those countries uh, that they are illegal, uh, Kaleidoscope is, uh, the Kaleidoscope Trust is the trust that will help them get their message across to the governments that are denying them their basic human rights. We know that in Torchwood you play Captain Jack. He's a fighter, of yep. course. You're obviously a bit of a fighter in real life yourself. Yes. Do you think we're tolerant enough in our own country, yes, of people who are gay? I think we have come a long way in the United Kingdom. I think the United Kingdom is probably the best place to live if you're a gay, lesbian, transgender, or bisexual. Uh, the one thing that we have to remember, you know, there's certain things that we still have to achieve here, but if you think about it, it's very small in comparison to trying to save your life, trying to stay alive, trying not to be murdered or uh, uh, abused in uh, your everyday life. Being able to walk down the street and be proud of who you are and love the person that you love, that's what we're shooting for all over the world. And we know you've campaigned for this for quite a while and you've investigated the reasons behind your own sexuality. I remember that documentary yes. just a couple of years ago Correct. Uh, where you did that kind of thing. So, so why is it important for you to sort of investigate that side of things rather than just accept well, I, ac yeah. I accept yeah. it, and I have accepted it, and I, there's nothing you can do but accept it if it's the way you were sure. made. It's important for me, and I put myself in the position because with, with Twitter uh, out there, a lot of my fans have been tweeting, when I show pictures of myself and Scott and our relationship on Twitter, I, they, some people tweet from Russia, from Africa, from uh, you know, different places. They say, it's wonderful to see you uh, in the position you are and the love that you have mm -hmm. because I can't do that. I'm not allowed to do that. I'm not allowed to live that way. So it's important to let people see who, who you are as a person. And if I can live this way and live happily, there's a lot of other people who can. And we can, again, I know it sounds silly, it sounds silly but we want to do it. We want to spread it around the planet. John, many thanks for coming in. Thank nice you very much. You. To really appreciate it.